What's good, Washington fans? So the Washington football team, we got the dub tonight. Uh, even though it's preseason, you know, I'll take the dub. It was ugly. wasn't pretty at all. But, um, you know, I, I was laughing at AGG. I'm happy that AGG had a great game. But it was hilarious that uh, every time he caught the football, it was like he was in pain, like he was really struggling. That was hilarious. But he, he stepped up tonight, man. That was a huge game for him. Steve Sims is done. That's it. I don't see him on the football team by Monday. I think he's done. You know, seeing how Ron cut Kelvin so quick, um, I'll, I'll probably just pour one out for Steven Sims right now before Ron gives him the snip snip uh, before Monday or, or Tuesday. So he's done. Uh, Jared Patterson's a dog. Once again, MVP of the game. Well, he was the best player on the field against the Patriots. And once again, he's the best player on the field tonight uh, for the football team. This guy was incredible. 71 yards on the ground, 37 yard uh, kick return. And was catching the ball out of the backfield. I mean, he, he looked like Booby Miles out there. He looked like Booby Miles. You know when Booby Miles' dad was in the stands and he was like, and he can pass. Like, I, I, that's the only thing I haven't seen Jaron Patterson do is throw a pass. That's the only I don't know if my camera is just doing this. But that's the only thing I didn't see Jaron Patterson do is throw a pass tonight. I mean, the man ran the ball out of the backfield. He caught the ball out of the backfield. Uh, uh, he ran a kick return. He did everything. He got a touchdown, got a first down on a third or one. I mean, he checked all the boxes tonight out of PG County. They kept showing a picture of him and Chase Young. Uh, it was hilarious. Chase Young chirping on the sideline, yelling at that guy, uh, talking about, you're still in the game, you know, talking about he's a third-string guy. Uh, that was hilarious. If you guys saw that on the sideline, Chase Young cussing, um, um, talking to somebody uh, on the sideline. Um, but, yeah, Jared Patterson had a great night. Uh, ben St. Juice played really well. Um, and, and, of course, we're going to get into the quarterback play. So I'll talk about, you know, some studs and duds real quick. And then um, some plays that stood out. And then I'll talk about the third string guys that stood out. I'll break that down uh, towards the end of the video. So uh, I have my notes and stuff. Just a lot of – this was a long game. It was a long preseason game. With the game started at 8 o'clock, it, it started late, too. It started like 8.15 or something like that. The game didn't end until like 10 uh, or 11.30 or something like that, or 11.15. It was a long freaking game. Um, where should I start here? Uh, once again, Like I said, AGG finally showed out. Had a, a couple good catches. He, he was strong with the catch on the two-point conversion. That's what I want to see. Dustin Hopkins, he made all his kicks. Granted, they were all short kicks, but these were kicks that he was missing last week. You know, it was so bad. I was like, let's just go out there and sign the YouTube kicker destroying because I can't take it anymore. All right, now let's let's get to quarterback play. Fitzpatrick, um, he definitely let some passes get away from him for sure. Uh, he overthrew Adam Humphreys one time. Logan Thomas was wide open for a touchdown. He overthrew Logan Thomas. Uh, almost threw an interception when he tried to throw the ball to Adam Humphreys. You know, they're supposed to be best buzz on the same page. But uh, tonight, they just weren't on the same page. They really were. It looked like when Trey Quinn was playing with Colt McCoy tonight. That's how that's how it looked tonight. It really did. Um, but he made a beautiful pass to Deami Brown. Deami Brown did drop a pass, and then he came back and made up for it with a beautiful catch. Uh, Jamar Chase looked scared tonight. Um, he definitely heard footsteps from Landon Collins. Landon Collins definitely laid out my man Thaddeus Moss. Landon Collins looks good, man. He looks darn good. He looks like he's ready. He looks like he's back, man. He, he really does. He looks better than what I know it's preseason, so I'm not going to get too hyped up. But Landon Collins looks good. I'm, I'm going to give him his credit, man. I'm going to give him his props. Um, back to the offense. Um, Terry, he tried. Didn't get a lot of opportunities. Um, Diami, I thought he did his thing. Made up from the, from the drop pass. Came back and, and made a good, good catch. Uh, but Fitz... Fitz made a few good passes. He just showed you who he is. And this is why you can't get too hyped up about Fitz. You know, you can't get too hyped about the number one quarterback rating under pressure, the top five QBR. Like, he's okay. He's going to be a lot better than what we had last year, which is what we need. We're not going to – this team shouldn't have to rely on Fitz too much, but we're definitely going to need solid quarterback play to win this game. We cannot have a guy go out there and throw the, throw the ball away, turn the ball over and miss easy throws. We just can't have that this year. We can't have that any year, but with this, with the schedule being how tough it is, we need adequate quarterback play. We need at least top, I would say top 15 quarterback play. If he can give us top 15 quarterback play, it doesn't have to be top 10, top five, but he can get, because tonight was like top 25 quarterback play, to be honest with you. Um, Heineke, I'll, let, I'll get to Gibson real quick. Gibson looked good. Uh, he made some good plays out of the backfield, catch the backfield. They they talked it up. Kyle Allen talked about him being Christian McCaffrey like or comparing him. And tonight he he did a good job catching the ball in the backfield. Had a nice screen pass, went for a first down. Had a couple of nice runs. We saw the burst of explosiveness. 
The only thing, the only problem I have is the move he likes to do. He likes to stand up and then go. I thought he did that a little too much. That's like the only problem I had. And then the fourth and one, we went for forward on fourth and one. He didn't get the fourth and one. So that's the only problem I really had with Antonio Gibson. I thought he had a great night. I thought he had an A, a minus, A night for not for real. The running back room was really, really good. Um, who else? Oh, let's get to Heineke. Heineke played well. Uh, I thought he played. I thought he played decently. He had some bad throws too. I'm not gonna lie. So Heineke wasn't great either. But out of the two, I think Heineke played better out of the two. If I had to choose, Kyle Allen wasn't bad either. It, granted, it was third string, but Kyle Allen had some good moments. Um, Steve Sims dropped the pass. That should have been a 30 yard, 35 yard gain uh, for a first down. Uh, he Kyle Allen made a nice pass to Ricky Seals Jones. I like Ricky Seals Jones. I think he's tight at number three right now with Sammy's being out for sure. Ricky Seals Jones, it looks like a really good wide receiver. I mean, he played wide receiver in college. He looks like a good tight end. Um, Heineke, the fumble was bad, but he, we did recover it. He's just got to be more aware, and he's better in games. Like I say this all the time, he's better in games than he is in practice. The things that he does in games, you can't do in practice. You can't duck your head and run away and then throw the ball. Like They're going to tag you, and I said they want you to stay in the pocket. So he's doing things in games that you can't really do in practice. Um, I thought he had some nice passes to AGG. I thought he had a nice pass to um, Jared Patterson out of the backfield as well. And he just he could, he got the ball to the open guys. He just made the right plays and, and got the ball down. I want to see him go up against first string guys, but I don't think we will get to see that opportunity because in the third game of the preseason, it's probably going to be all the second string and third string guys, guys trying out. Um, essentially, it's going to be like that fourth game of the season. But Kyle Allen, I thought he, I thought he did pretty well. I, I had no problems with Kyle Allen. I, he didn't throw any almost interceptions or anything like that. Um, so I thought he was pretty good tonight. Uh, we can look at the numbers from the quarterbacks too. Fitz was, Fitz was what? Uh, his numbers aren't bad. Seven for 13, 96 yards. That's that's solid numbers. He got sacked one time. The offensive line did. You know they gave up a sack. They gave up a couple pressures. So the offensive line wasn't wasn't great tonight either. Uh, Heineke was 11 for 13, 80 yards. Uh, no touchdowns, no picks. Kyle Allen was two for four for 23 yards. So Kyle Allen didn't throw the ball much, but for the passes that he made, he he played pretty well. Uh, so the numbers don't wow you at all. We didn't have a quarterback go over 100 yards passing tonight, uh, which is not a bad thing. But um, Heineke had four rushes for 26 yards. His longest run for, was for 12 yards. Gibson had seven runs for 28 yards. Jared Patterson had 16 runs for 71 yards. Four yards per carry, one touchdown. His longest run was for 14 yards. Um, Peyton Barber had three carries for two yards. So, I mean, that's just the thing. I mean, Ron is probably going to keep four, but if he kept three, my three would be, of course, Gibson, McKissick, and Jared Patterson. I think Jared Patterson does everything that Peyton Barber can do and, and more and even better and more explosive. Ron said in his press conference that Jared Patterson is just, he's a guy that's not scared of the lights. And Steven Sims, unfortunately, looks like he's a guy that's not ready for the lights uh, right now. So, um, AGG led the team in receiving tonight. Three catches for 38 yards, so solid game from him. Logan Thomas had that nice catch for 28 yards. That was a that was a that was a solid pass from behind, from uh Fitzpatrick. He was wide open. Um, Jamin Davis, uh, Ben St. Juice played really well. Ter Tory McTire has played really really well. He did a good job on T Higgins. He also made a solid tackle before the end of the half too. Tory McTire has been really darn good. Um. Jimmy Moreland was good. He had a good pass breakup. Uh, Jamin Davis, he was solid in the in the pass game, in, in the run game. I thought he had a couple of good stops. He was in the right area. He looked more comfortable. Uh, Montez Sweat had a good um, play in the backfield, had a tackle for loss. Um, I thought the defense was solid. They only gave it two first downs in the first half. I thought the defense was pretty solid. The third string defense and that second string defense is really bad with stopping the run. They gave up some big run plays, kind of like that, not as bad as the Ramondre Stevenson run from the Patriots. But they they've been giving up some big runs. But um, let me before I get to the third string team, I want to talk about some more uh, first string guys. Let me see if I have any more notes on those guys real quick. Um, all right, yeah, we, we can get to the we can get to the second string guys now. Um, Troy Appy got burnt on one play, then he bounced back and made a tackle. Um, so we'll see if he makes the roster. Uh, who else? Yami, Logan, Ricky Seals, Ricky Seals, Jones, I thought he played. Cam Sims, almost forgot about talk about Cam Sims. Cam Sims, he made, he made two good catches, right? But he fumbles the ball. And then the end zone play, I'm not going to really dock him for that. But that fumble, that's inexcusable. You got to do better than that. That's, that's something that you, you got to clean up before we get to the games. And sometimes he's 50-50 with the football. And we just, anything with drops or fumbles, kind of like with Steve Sims too, 
you know, I like Cam Sims a lot, but there's times where he is unreliable with the football. He's 50-50 with the football. So that's not a good look for him to fumble the ball, especially in our territory. That's a game situation. That's something that you got to work on right there uh, with Cam Sims. Um, Derek Forrest, uh, he got faked out on a bootleg where, uh, was it Brandon Allen or was it the second string quarter? I can't remember which quarterback it was, but he did the fake pitch. And uh, <laughs> Derek Forrest was just still there for about a good five seconds lost in the sauce. But and then Brandon Allen like ran the other way and tried to throw. And there was a penalty on the play anyway, a, a, um, a legal man downfield. So I'm not going to go in on Derek Forrest too much. But that's something he's definitely got to clean up as a rookie. Like he really caught him. He fell for the banana and the tail, tailpipe right there. So he's really got to um, improve on that. Derek Forrest did not play well the last game against the Patriots either. Um, but he's more of a special teams guy right now. So um, he, he's got to do better for sure. Um, like I said, Torrey McTire was really, really good. Um, what's his name? Uh, William Bradley King. He had a nice forced fumble. He played pretty well. Daniel Wise was active in the backfield. He picked up the fumble. I thought he played pretty darn well, too. Um, I said Jimmy Moreland. Uh, ben St. Juice played well, too. Um, the punt return game. Not much from it, but no fumbles, no no muff punts or anything like that. So I thought I thought everybody was solid um, returning punts tonight and just fair catching the football. Uh, so I, I had no problems with the, with those guys tonight. Dax Milne, DeAndre Carter, and uh, Steve Sims. He didn't muff any punts either. But Jared Patterson returning that kick return, man, he's the best guy out of them. And I, I want to see him return some punts too. I really do. I think he's he's really good at that. Oh, Rotimi, the guy named his name is Rotimi. Boom me, Rotimi. Routine. He had a solid game too. Um, I'm probably butchering his name, but he had a couple good tackles too. He was solid in the backfield. He was super, super active as well. Um, and Jordan Kusnuski, he had he had a couple good plays too. He made a nice tackle um, to to stop a turnover on downs too. So I thought he played pretty well. Um, he led the team in tackles with five tackles. We didn't have a lot of tackles tonight, but yeah, the defense the defense got after it. the first team defense got after. It. I like what I saw from the first team defense, but. Um, quarterback plays has got to get better, man. We got to get better. We got to get these kinks out. I know it's preseason, and they're trying to get the chemistry flowing, but they they definitely got to play better for sure. Um, they just got to play better. Ryan Fitzpatrick, he's got to he's got to get these passes in, man, because he he was inaccurate. He let some passes definitely get away from him. But this is what preseason is for to get the the jitters out or the miscommunication out, whatever it is. This is clearly what it's for. Heineke, I thought he played pretty well. He had a ninety two point three quarterback rating, and I thought he was the best quarterback. Um, out of the three tonight, um, but he's just got to clean up on the football. Just a little a little sloppy here and there, but it is what it is. I like it. It's going to be off script. It's not always going to be pretty, but he's going to make something happen. He's going to make something shake. He's going to turn a sack into a positive play. What a would-be sack is into a positive play, but he's just got to be um, have good ball control with the football. So that's the only really thing I can say about Turner Heineke tonight, too, and the one bad pass that definitely could have been an interception tonight, too. Um, so that's really it. Um, I'll talk about my man Jared Patterson. His stats tonight, six, all all purpose yards, had 100 all purpose yards, man. He looked like Booby Miles out there tonight. He was doing his thing. And once again, I'm happy for AGG uh, tonight. Uh, Curtis Samuel, I'm hoping we need him. We need we need his offense bad. He's definitely a missing link out there. You can tell that we could definitely use another explosive wide receiver that could catch the football that's more reliable. Um, you can see how important, how, how much more dynamic he's going to make this offense. Um, coming up this year. So um, take the dub against the Bengals. Uh, definitely some things I want to see us improve on. William Jackson did not play. Kendall Fuller did not play. Casey Tuhill did not play. Um, so Torrey McTire and who was the other starting corner? Torrey McTire and Ben St. Juice were your starting outside corners. And then I think Jimmy Moreland was your slot corner. So those are the guys. I don't know why William Jackson didn't play. I got to look it up too and see why he didn't play. Why didn't he play? Yeah, William Jackson didn't play. Uh, I can't even find the tweet. But, yeah, he, he didn't play. It is what it is. Sammy's Razors, of course, didn't play. But um, I think I like Ricky Seals Jones. That's the last thing I'm going to say. I like, I like Ricky Seals Jones, and I think he's going to make the roster. I really do. All right, you guys, let me know what you guys think. Um, I might come up with a video tomorrow talking about winners and losers, winners and losers, stock up, stock, de stock down kind of stuff. So stay tuned for that. I'm going to try my best to get that video out tomorrow about this game. Um, and, uh, we'll see if Steve Sims is on this roster, uh, <laughs> by Monday. So we'll see. I might have to pour another one out for him. So, all right, y'all. Hail to the football team. Peace.